Hey, Mallet Percussion, thanks for tuning in again. Today, we're working on the song Name Those Classics by Annie McGinty. This is 16 classic orchestral favorites, and I bet you'll recognize some of them as we play. The speed of this song is 120 beats per minute all the way through, but to practice it, we're gonna take it a little bit slower at 100 beats per minute. I've got my metronome set right there at 100 to give us that slow, steady beat. However, we'll definitely make sure that we practice it to make sure we speed it up so that we can play it with the ensemble. So, this piece has B flats, E flats, and A flats in the key signature. However, there's a lot of accidentals all through the piece. In fact, in the very first measure, we take and we play B flat, then A, not A flat, followed by G flat or F sharp. So be, be prepared for some accidentals. Grab a pencil and mark them if you need to. Let's get started and play this opening section of the piece. It's the first four measures. One, two, beginning on B flat. Ready, go. Good, let's do that one more time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Good, line two. Let's do line two up to measure 11. One, two, E flat, ready, set, go. Great. Now let's move on to the end of line two and pick up with a little Beethoven. So we're starting at the last measure of line two. One, two, G, A flat. Ready, go. I bet you recognize that. Well, in measure 29, we switch from 4-4 four, four time to 3-4 time. Measure 29, and we're gonna go from there to measure 36. This whole section is in 3-4. Watch out, because there are some D flats, there's some F sharps, and A naturals along the way. Here we go, 29. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Let's play that again. One, two, three, 29, go. Great. Now we're gonna move down to 42. And the pickup to 42 is an eighth note D flat into D. Okay, here we go. We're going in to measure 42. I'll count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, go. Bum, 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 bum. You'll hear me say that go quick. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, go. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, go. And you're going all the way up to high B flat. Most of the notes in that passage are the arpeggio of B flat. Great. Three lines from the bottom. We are in 4-4 time, and we've got some eighth note, eighth rest combinations. Let's play those two measures starting on E flat. It's measure 48. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Great. 
Then we switch to 3-4 time and 4-4 four, four time before we come in with our A flats in another Beethoven classic. So we're starting in measure 50. One, two, three, 50, ready, go. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, go on, 62 half note. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, off. Great. The last measure I want to practice with you is the last measure of the second to last line. It has an A natural, C, then G, F, E. One and two, ready, go. Again, ready, set, and go. Well, one more time, ready, go. Perfect. And there you have it. Name those classics, arranged by Anne McGinty. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that you'll try practicing it on your own with your metronome. Once you can play up to the speed of 120, try playing along with the reference recording. So until I see you next time, keep practicing.